Hey everyone, Mayhem Prone here from the Mayhem Prone Show, where I want to start off by saying I'm going on a very long camping slash road trip vacation over the next few weeks, so there won't be new episodes for two or three weeks. I'm sorry, but I've been very busy this summer, and I promise new episodes will come out as soon as I can make them when I get back from this vacation. But with that being said, let's get right into this. I've always liked the Equestria Girls movies, the second one was the best, and with the news that we're gonna get a fourth movie soon, I wanted to list the top 5 things I want to see in Equestria Girls 4 Legends of Everfree. Well at number 5, I'd like to see a new overarching plot. Throughout the first 3 movies, we had the story of Sunset Simmer's Reformation. It started in the first movie with a pure of heart Twilight taking down the wicked Sunset Simmer, and by the third movie the roles had completely reversed with a pure of heart Sunset Simmer taking down a wicked Twilight. Now that this storyline has been finished, I'd like to see a new arc go over all of the possible future installments in the Equestria Girl series. And at number 4, I'd like to see a new and interesting villain. I've always liked the Dazzlings, because they introduced Sirens, one of my favorite mythical creatures, to the MLP universe. I'd like to see a new villain that's intimidating, interesting, but relatable, and introduces a new species to the world we know and love. There's been so many species in MLP that have been underused or flat out ignored, that the possibilities are literally endless. And speaking of villains... Number 3, I'd like to see Human Starlight Glimmer. Because of the alternate timeline in Equestria Girls, Twilight Sparkle's life and personality changed a lot. So I always thought, how did it affect Starlight Glimmer? Did the lack of magic mean her and Sunburst were not separated as kids? Did she ever turn evil? Is she good in that universe? These are all interesting topics that I would love to learn about and could lead to plenty interesting stories. And speaking of alternate timelines, for number 2, I'd like to see the interactions between human and equestrian Twilight. Just think about it, two Twilights and two Spikes interacting with each other in a movie. The comedy practically writes itself. In addition, it would be a very interesting team-up. With two different Twilights, one the Princess of Friendship and the other a reformed villain, it could bring up really interesting topics like morality and free will. Overall, this is a team-up that practically has to happen. Now technically, even if all four of these ideas I've given were not used in the movie, it could still turn out to be a pretty good flick. But, at the number one spot, I have something that's pretty much required if Legends of Everfree hopes to be an awesome addition to the Equestria Girls lineup. And finally, at number one, Equestria Girls 4 Legends of Everfree needs to have a unique storyline. When it comes to direct-to-TV or direct-to-DVD movies, sending the characters to camp is one of the most cliched and overdone plotlines possible. So if this movie ever hopes to be anything special, it's got to do something new, something original, something that we haven't seen a dozen times before on Nickelodeon, Disney Channel, or Cartoon Network. If the writers don't have something special up their sleeves, then this movie is doomed before it's even released. But what do you think? What do you want to see in Equestria Girls 4 Legends of Everfree? Leave a comment in the section below. The must watch pony video of the week has to go to cartoons because, oh my gosh, if you don't know what cartoons is, you've got to go look it up. Because Cartoons is the evil personality from Toon Critics channel that has recently taken over his YouTube channel and is expanding to all of MLP YouTube. He's taken over several analyzer and reviewer channels, including my own, to post his message around YouTube that he will last forever. If you haven't seen this, you've got to check it out because Cartoons is planning something big and I'm kind of nervous to see what. And until next time, I'm Mayhem Prone from the Mayhem Prone Show. And goodbye.